Hey everybody, this is Alexander from Vnish Mining Software Company and I have good news for Antminer X19 series owners. We have new firmware and you can use it. So what we must do? We must check, first of all we must check our model and our modification. For example some S19J models have a usual motherboard and some models have big big bone motherboards it looks like a sandwich of two boards so we have few versions of firmware go to our website niche.net and choose exactly your model for example i have s19 Pro model. It's uh, using the usual motherboard, not BeagleBone. So I'm going to download the firmware. I have it uh, already downloaded. So I'm going to open to unpack it. Okay, this is the folder. We must use uh, maximum 60 gigabytes, no more, no more than 16 gigabytes uh, micro SD card. We do in format in uh, FAT32, and we copy in all of these files to the SD card. And after that, we're going to insert the SD card in our machine. Some versions of uh, S19 have micro USB instead of SD card. We don't have firmware for this model, but we're working on it. It will be soon. So, now we have our ASIC with the SD card inserted and we're going to configure it. My machine is already configured. Uh, but you have an empty machine, so first of all you're going to unlock it with the regular password, it's root. Just a second. Okay, we're going to mining and we must fill the pools after the pools are filled for example we click in on save Okay, and after it's saved, we're going to we continue to configure our machine. The temperature control must be turned on 60, uh, 75 degrees is okay. The cooling mode is. I prefer to use automatic mode. Manual mode it's good only if uh, we have very hot summer and immersion mode it's immersion mode after finishing the configuring we clicking on save and going to overlock uh, here we can choose the preset lc that's mean liquid cooling it's only for immersions so uh, the maximal uh, hash rate on air cooling is 141 terahash on uh, this model this model is s19 pro 110 terahash okay but uh, we still don't have automatic tune so uh, preset will uh, uh, make the voltage and the frequency but without chips of the tune it will be able in uh, our next version this version is like beta 
So I don't use automatic preset. I took the voltage and the frequency from the preset. And uh, in this option, in, uh, in this situation, I can configure my chips by manual. So if we see uh, orange or green chips, we can uh, drop down the frequency to all domain of free chips or to every chips, every chip. After we finish it, we click in on save and go into another option. Here, minimal hash rate. That's mean if one hash board doesn't work, uh, ASIC will make restart. So I prefer to fill 100 euro hash here. The, the critical temperature is 85 and it's good. Don't touch it. Here you must fill all of these options. And a power supply modified is only for immersion if you have a modified power supply. Okay, after finishing the conf configuring here, you click on save. Fees. For mining, faci mining, mining hosting managers, you can uh, make uh, like hotel fee from one point from eight point from zero point one to ten percent and to send the traffic to another pool okay now we go into system and uh, please uh, uh, click save okay now we go into the system here we can choose the language and the time zone and we can uh, switch to dark theme we can switch to light panel okay and we can switch to dark theme but i prefer light theme with dark panel so i choose in light and dark panel okay now security here we can change the password open or close ssh port and activate the api keys for our web monitoring name it and heal but uh, this version still not uh, working in and heal in next uh, well, uh, version it will work okay uh, now we going going to cloning we can clone configurations to all ASICs in your IP range. So we choosing the cloning options. For example, we select an all, but we don't want to change the pools. So beside the pools, and here we fill the first uh, IP, here the last IP in the range, here the password, and we apply in uh, this form. I have only one machine, so I will not do it. Find miner if you want to find our ASIC. It will be blinking. Okay. So now about the bugs. Uh, the power consuming matter is not working properly because uh, in this hash rate the power consuming is something about uh, 4.3 terahash uh, 4.3 kilowatts it's lying so we will fix this bug in next uh, version of firmware and also we will enable the auto tune Okay, now about the widgets. Click here. Go into widgets panel and we can choose everything here. Save. And you see the widgets here. The power efficiency, 
uh, DEFI it's uh, going to maximum 2.8-2.9 percent found blocks and best share and last thing is automatic update when we will release the new version with the automatic tune and fix it and the power consumption meter fix it you will need to download the web version for web install and you making the upgrade like like in usual firmware okay you will see red apply button after all changes you must click it and your machine will reboot and come back to the work with the new uh, configuration i wish you good luck good mining and high profit bye bye